Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Colonization, featuring Grimmoth. I've taken a break from recording for a few days. Uh, I uploaded over 100 videos in the past month. Decided that I had every right and allowance, since it's my hobby, to do things that I wanted to do in my spare time, as opposed to upload things. Besides, I know many of you can't exactly keep up with the output, because there are other folks you want to watch. And so, yeah. Whenever I came back, I looked at uh, all the views that my videos had gotten, and decided to end up recording something based upon that. My three Daggerfall videos, the last ones that I released, um, <laughs> haven't gotten that many views. I think it's because they were buried under my Avalanche of 13. And, uh, these videos in RTK had gotten a lot, but I already re the last thing I recorded was RTK. <laughs> and, so yeah. Figured I'd come back here to this game that I don't know a whole lot about. Apparently I've been slaughtering horses. I've been sending them to the knackers and uh, due to my lack of spare food and getting them all killed when really I the very thing I at least I should be selling them to make some sort of money. They uh they they have some value in Europe. Not a whole lot, but it's better than them dying off. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Silver has continued to go to hell. Um it's also been made clear to me that silver deposits and stuff you mine will eventually expire. So that could eventually raise the silver prices back up. So I guess I could hold on to that. Also, tools are pretty expensive. I shouldn't just keep trying to buy those. I should try to mine the ore to make some. I think that's a good idea, folks. Which is why I'm going to set this man right here who's not exactly an expert at ore mining. It's possible I have an expert ore miner somewhere, but I've... <clears throat> See, it's been, like, what, six days? Yeah, I forgot this shit. As to the back of this, I keep fucking looking at him, expecting fucking wonders and miracles, and... That shit never happens. It's a fisherman. That's not a fisherman, is it? It's just the way I was clicking on him. He's actually a master gunsmith. And that's an expert fisherman, and that's probably a free colonist. Yep. I'm still learning the game, folks. Uh, one nice thing about uh, doing a Let's Play, Let's Get On With It, and sharing your single-player experiences is that other people can end up teaching you about the game. The process, they may call you a retard or a moron or incompetent, but you know what? Some of, those video some of those people who do that might actually not be recording videos themselves, so clearly they're not a jack-of-all-trades like I am. Haha. -ha. That looks fine and reasonable to me. What are you producing? church so we can produce some crosses automatically and help to woo more people over here. Guadalupe? Oh, God damn it. Every time I fucking see that phrase now I should have renamed that town. I guess I still can. We have a seasoned scout working here. And a free colonist. I sent horses to you because I guess I wanted you to have them. That makes sense. That made sense at the time. You're consuming food there this colony could be used to grow. Maybe I should have sold you. Oh well. No regrets, children. No ba day what the no day but today. Also, I had somebody else, I think it was Hard War UK, tell me, you know, you should probably send your privateers down south so, you know, you don't instigate the English into declaring war on you. Well, that's all fine and well. The point of me getting them was to, uh, to break down the English and remove all their investment that they, they had gotten from all those treasures that they returned back home. See, I want- I don't want them to grow up to be the super powerful, major, awesome, cool, big house, or... Whatever sort of phrase that made sense. And I was hoping to piss off SKS the entire time. I know he's out there. Lurking in the shadows with his, uh... <laughs> firebrand prisoners <laughs> And his free gates. And break! Yeah. What should I build here next? I need a wagon train. That could be pretty useful. I should also... I mean, I have so much ore here. I like the idea of me building a blacksmith shop. To allow me... That would allow me to produce more tools, right? I think so. So that sounds good. We'll do that. And we need tools to produce that. So tell you what, folks. We're going to continue to work on that. And then once we produce all the hammers, we're just going to make a bunch of tools. So we can make more tools. With our tools. So we can have tools with our tools. If that makes sense, that... <laughs> It's possible we not. Also, um, the past few days I actually had to reinstall Camtasia Studio. I've had some hardware problems, which is, you know, nice since I plan on taking a break, but they appeared then. 
So, this is pretty much uh, my first real video since getting all of that reinstalled and everything. I hope it all works and looks good, because if it doesn't, that's going to be... Oh, what is that phrase I keep on repeating? What is it, unfortuitous? Something like that. Okay. You have a bunch of horses on you that I stole. In that case, I guess I'll go sell you. I presume that's what you have, a cargo of horses, so we'll just take you back home. We'll sell those horses, make some money off them. You can get in the city. And I don't know what you'll do once you're in the city, but damn it, you can get in here. Aha, I know. You can produce ore here, can't you? You sure can. Make ore, because we're going to need to make our own tools. I think. Is that a good strategy, folks? <laughs> See, now that I have so many people viewing my videos, uh, despite my incompetence, you children can help me along. And I can enlist your aid. I don't have to feel bad about doing it, because I'm giving you all free entertainment. So you fuckers better help me. <laughs> That's the way I see it, damn it. Let's see here. Let's take a look at prices to see if there's like some way I can turn a profit out of all this shit. Cigars. I can make those. Cigars would give me a lot of money. This stuff, though, I can't exactly make that well. Um... If I buy cotton, I can, like, sell it back here for, like, twice as much profit, it looks like. But I don't know how long it would take to actually do that stuff. I guess I could check out the Indian villages, too, to see, like, what they really want. Because I've pretty much forgotten by this point. Maybe I should, like, keep a chart. Like, write it down on a sheet of paper or some shit. Muskets are also hideously expensive, but I think that's because uh, so many uh, fo folks have been buying them. Like, England. Um, let's go for... Okay, Expert or Miner will definitely help. So, I'm just going to go ahead and speed buy him. As for purchases, I could buy another artillery unit. I guess because I'm kind of worried about what the English may do to me. <laughs> I don't exactly want that to happen, so... I want to stay away from that. Free colonists. Um, not sure could take back another set of tools. No, I don't exactly want to do that. Tell you what, we'll just go with this. It'll give me more opportunity and time to think. I can make coats, too. I got, like, an ass load of fur sitting around somewhere, right? Find a way to make coats, and, uh... Because those would be profitable to turn. And I've got, like, a beaver thing near one of my cities. So that could be good, right, folks? Montreal and my uh, foreign guy dude came in there so that'll be fine so yeah I actually like the sound of that so do I have anybody to spare you guys are kind of like making hammers and stuff which is kind of awkward I don't exactly have so many colonists here that I feel comfortable with sparing something but um you don't exactly have fur either so, you go get fur. That's six fur per turn. Can we spare any food production? No. You don't have any lumber to spare either for that. So, you go make some coats for me. I'll have three fur left over each turn. I can make a profit off the coats. I think. Sounds right to me, folks. Sounds right. I also need to work on making a wagon train for Guadalupe over here. God damn it, SKS. I, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> I, I, I just can't. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> so I'm going to have a pioneer uh, wandering around here. Uh, I guess the next thing I'll have him go to is... I'll build a road there. He has 40 tools left over, so that... Maybe I should save that. I need to build a road to connect these two together. I don't mean, I don't exactly have a lot of tools on hand to spare for dicking around here. And I should try to connect my cities. So that's what I'll do. I'll, instead of building a road there, I'll build a road between those two. Or like a road there. Something to allow me to connect SKS to Montreal. And then whenever I get a wagon train, I can like... You probably can't put a wagon train on a ship, can you? 
Maybe you can. That makes sense to me. I mean, if you can put everything else on the ship, why not that? I don't know. I'll find out. Or one of you will tell me. I'll probably find out before any of you get the opportunity to tell me. I really enjoy the music of this game. Do do do. See your dragoons trolling around? Alrighty, we have some horses here that I'm going to sell. Not exactly a whole lot of money in horses, but you know, at least I got money out of it, right? And I guess I'll just go ahead and send this privateer back. I don't feel like taking anything back with him. Steady as she goes, lads. Sweet! We, we built a artillery unit here. That's awesome. See, that's why we don't need to buy our own artillery anymore, because we'll just make some. Now, what we should do here is build a wagon train. I'd also feel comfortable if, uh, I guess our hardy pioneer is over in the top left corner. But we can send somebody out of here with, um, with tools. Like this master tobacconist. Give him some tools on his way out the dough. Um, take those tools with, <laughs> tools with you. Um, you can help connect those two cities together. Or help connect these two cities together. So I have a road network. In addition to... What do we have here defending? This artillery unit should... I guess it'll stay here for now. I don't exactly want to wander it right next to the engines. Speaking of the engines, when the hell am I going to get a converted Indian, folks? I've, like, bribed them with missionaries. I've got the right founding fathers, don't I? To, to persuade these people to join the cause, to join the team. What the fuck's going on here, everybody? Oh, dick. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll send them back to Europe. Our pit queen is told that we must drive all French... Uh, fuck. Yes. I'll pay you. I'm not ready to kill you, and I've still made more money off of raiding your ships. So, that that's the, that's the policy I'll take on that. I've still made more of a profit than not. So, I think that's a good decision on my part. You may disagree with me. That's your right to disagree with me. That's all I got to say about that. So... Go ahead and send this expert ore miner to Quebec. Quebec? <laughs> or whatever. And, uh... I forget which villages I've explored and which ones I haven't. I don't remember. I wish there was an auto-explore feature. <laughs> I feel lazy. It's probably a bad sign, folks. Feeling lazy in this game. Probably not a good thing. Uh, go ahead and put... What are you? That doesn't help me at all. You're a silver miner. In that case, you're not helping me at all. Go make tools. Alrighty, sick. Oh, dick in my pants. That was the antithesis of what I wanted. Let's try this again, folks. You move there and produce that... I clicked on the wrong colonist, didn't I? I did. That's gonna waste another turn right there as he fucking reassembles his goddamn shit. Ten or oh sweet! I'll definitely have an excess of ore then. I continue to make my own tools. Fantastic, folks. I'll go ahead and put a cargo of 100 horses there. I'll keep this stuff. I'm not sure if I want to sell the silver right now because the prices may go up in the future. That could be opportunity there, everybody. I will take the tobacco with me, though. I want some sort of money around. If only so I can keep bribing the fucking English. Man, I hope this video turns out okay. Go back home. Please. You... Fuck, I'm tempted to just send your ass back here and give me your horses or some shit. I mean, it's not like I can do a whole lot here in terms of exploring. In order to come down south, I would have to run through that Lost City rumor. Which I am uh, making a personal vow to stay away from. <laughs> I like how nobody actually commented about that. I thought that was pretty cool. 
Like, you stupid. I can't believe you. You're making this game harder on yourself. Like, no shit. <laughs> I know I am. That was the point. It was the interest of having fun and a good time. My first time ever playing this. Perhaps that was a poor decision on my part, everybody. Fuck fun. Fuck having a good time. Just dominate America like the, uh, the original colonists did, right? And crush the Amerindians. That's a sad part of history, though. I, I don't like to focus on that too much. My family wasn't around during the time. Not that I know of. Uh, my The ancestors of my father came over to America in 1865. The ancestors of my mother, they weren't around here during the American Revolution either. Although, <laughs> I do have a bit of Cherokee blood in me. So, once upon a time, I did have a connection. It's true, folks, it's true. Um, now that I have this wagon train, I guess I can slowly send it over to- Oh, goddammit, I didn't change the production there at all. You need to build something else, okay? I don't want you building another one of those. That would just be excessive and extreme. Extreme! The fortress is probably a little overkill right now. Probably a little overkill. Um, well, dick. Tell you what, I can be a superhero. I have no clue. I could build another ship. I could build my own privateer. That'd be pretty sweet, right, folks? Needs 120 tools, but... Yeah, think of the potential and possibilities. Actually, I like the idea of schoolhouse better. So I'll do that right now. I, I don't know why. I guess I just like the idea of eventually being able to train my own people so I don't have to buy them at exorbitant rates in New Europe. Not New Europe. <laughs> the old world, damn. I'm filled with all kinds of retardation today, folks. All kinds of retardation. Um, I guess I'll just go send this guy to Roanoke. Or near Roanoke. That, that seems pretty cool to me. Can I tell him, like, T? That, that didn't work at all. Uh, in that case, just go down this way. We'll see what happens. I'm sure there's some sort of button that activate unit and I'm not pressing it. And I can, like, drag him or some shit, but shit happens. It'll... Oh, fuck. <laughs> see, look at that there, folks. Shit happens. That's what I get whenever I do it wrong. Uh... What's here? Okay, that has fur, and then I can take to places to make stuff out of it. Because the Indians gave me supplies, and it also has horses. I can take the horses to there, and I can sell them. I have multiple places producing horses. It also consumes my food, but quiet you. Do not question my intellect. Yes, wagon train, go party, because I don't exactly have a road connecting those two cities. I perfectly understand. Do, 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 do. Sure. Whatever. That's only plus 2%. Big deal. More supplies. That is continuing to lower. I still don't have anything I want to buy from here, though. Or train. Although, uh, these uh, experts here would be pretty handy. Nah, not anybody I really want right now, I don't think. What do you folks think? Why aren't you playing this game yourself? <laughs> Damn it. Whee! Come on, I want a rich juicy galleon, please. And some Ovaltine, please. Um, build a road. You build a road. Roads. <laughs> Some of you folks have gotten the joke and have posted comments relating to roads <laughs> in my comments. Good for you, folks. Good for you. Others of you have either gotten the joke and decided it was not worth your time or just don't understand me at all. That's perfectly acceptable. Okay, I'll use my number pad for this. Screw this. Alrighty. Um, we have anybody trolling around here? Anybody? 
Pioneer has reverted to no. <laughs> no, not the Pioneer. This is terrible. What a ah, that guy didn't have any cargo on him that I that I could see. He might have had live cargo though. Alrighty, this is a good ending though, folks. I'll wrap up this video here. Uh, it's cool if you turned in. Uh, leave some comments for me and fucking educate me about the game. Like, you should have done this because you're a dumbass. Don't expect too much from me. <laughs> if you had high expectations, lower those right now, please. <laughs> uh, it's cool that you all turned in. I'm grim Turned in. I'm going to turn in myself. See you all next time.